Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody doing out there today? Hope you guys are doing awesome. Uh, I got another Zendikar Rising set box. This is from the Amazon sale that I did the video for you guys about. I got these for like $82 or $85 or something like that. Crazy cheap. But Amazon does not package these very well. So, which of the Coast does, like, I believe, fulfilled by Amazon, which means they actually send the pallets to Amazon and Amazon actually boxes them up and sends them out. Um, and because they were limiting them to three, you couldn't buy a full case. So they didn't send them in the Wizard of the Coast cases, which are nice heavy cardboard and the boxes fit perfectly in there. They throw them in a bigger box and they didn't put any packing material. So the boxes got pretty banged up on their way to me. And you know me, I don't like to hold on to banged up boxes for investment purchases or purposes for later. Um, I like to open the banged up ones and get the cards out. And luckily this is a set that I love and I love opening because the expeditions, obviously, <laughs> box toppers. But uh, yeah, not a lot of value in here, so it's kind of a bummer. But I do love this set. I think it's one of the best sets that came out in 2021. And our box topper just fell out because it was on top. It looks a little warped, but not too bad. Hopefully it's all right. We'll put that over there. Uh, yeah, just, I love this set. I think it was probably my favorite set that came out this year. Um, some really good sets came out, but this one just, it's got the box toppers, the expeditions. You can get the enemy fetches in it, you know. You can get the allied fetches, you know. You can get, what, the, the oh, the, uh, yeah, you know, those other lands, too. The good ones. <laughs> There's so many good cards in the set that with the expeditions, and, uh, there's so many good cards in the set in general, and I really like some of the mechanics they come up with. Um, and of course, you know, I love the pathways. I think the pathways were genius. Um, so I'm big on the set. I like it. Um, yeah, there's no commons in this pack at all. It's all in commons. Oh, wait, there's a common. What? What's going on here? Why is there a common in the back? That's weird. All right. Uh, Wayward Guy Beast. He's one that. Uh, I, I spec down at the beginning that I said it was going to be a huge card. And everybody was like, oh, no, that's garbage. Uh, but I still think that card is going to be epic. Uh, and a Hydro Token. So I think that the way we're Guide Beast, because just for the landfall ability, plus it's a one drop, two, two trample with haste. Now, yes, you got to pick up a land every time you damage the opponent, but. With landfall, that's a good thing. You get a land every turn to trigger your landfall effects with. Now, at the very beginning of the game, it might slow you down a little bit, but still, man, the landfall, being able to play a land every turn. If you're running mono red with basic lands, it's not going to hold you back too much. Soul Shatter and Tajuru and a minigame. So, I mean, also, if you're running, if you're running Gruul, there's a lot of green cards that'll let you play more than one land in a turn. So... If you're building the deck right, that Wayward Guide Beast can really just accelerate your landfall. So, I think it's going to be an epic card in the future. We'll see what happens with it. Why are there commons behind the uncommons? This is weird. Yasharn, I get one of those in everything I open. Oh, and an Herborg Panther way back from Mirage for a list card. And a common foil. Uh, the other thing I love about this set is the Flawart Lands. Flawart Lands are amazing. Uh, they're not worth anything right now because so many sets have come out in the past two years with full art lands. Uh, we got the Theros Nyx lands, which were gorgeous. Ooh, a full one. And we got the, uh, you know, these full art lands. There's just a lot of full art lands that have come out in the past couple of years. So I think the, the value on them is a little low right now. But if they don't print any for a while, Zeroth Sand, Cutman Foil, and an Angel Warrior. So if they don't print the full art lands for a little while, then uh, these prices will go back up. And they're still, they're not doing too bad. Um, the full Nyx lands are still a couple bucks a piece. So, and I think the full lands of these are over a buck still. So, you know, full art lands, always something good to have. Archpriest of Iona. And come full. Wow. And advertising. We're starting off really slow in this box. What's going on here? Where's the spicy stuff? Come on, give us some goodies. Give us some goodies. Why can't they bang up a box full of really tasty stuff? They have to bang up a weak box. Glass pool mimic with the uh, glass pool shore in the back. That's another thing. The modal flip land cards are just amazing. Enclave crypto cryptologist from uh, uh, 
is that uh that's uh yeah that you know you know that one that one <laughs> is it Age of New Pyrexia or no I think it's the other one I don't know I don't know I wasn't playing at that time so sometimes those symbols just don't I don't remember which set they're from uh, Rise of Eldrazi that's what it is Rise of Eldrazi Lotus Cobra nice and a Skyclave Shade right in the same pack but uh yeah Lotus Cobra is awesome I love breaking the arena server with him with that uh the Scoot Swarm combo it's <laughs> so much fun uh, so there we go let's see what's in the next pack here uh, another foil land nice uh, what do we got here Hagrid Mauling with the land on the back the Hagrid Brood Pit nice and a Swarm Shambler for the double rare common foil and a copy token alright we're getting through there so far, it hasn't been a terribly exciting box. We haven't gotten any pathways yet. Uh, no mythics at all. <laughs> Not a single mythic. What's going on here? That was pathway art. Maybe we'll get a pathway in this pack. Uh, or a mythic would be better. Glass pole mimic again. Okay, we're getting duplication. Uncommon and insect token. All right, what is going on with this box? Where's the mythics? Where's the pathways? Where's the spiciness? What's happening here? Last pack of the first stack, and it was kind of a weak stack there, I'm going to have to say. A um, couple of good rares, but that's it. Master of Winds, and a common foil, and a Land of War Reborn from one of the dual decks, looks like. I don't even know what symbol that is. Oh, boy. So we got three list cards, but I don't think any of them are worth a whole lot. <laughs> We're on to stack number two. Hopefully the middle of the box picks it up because that first stack was pretty weak. Come on. Uh, there we go. First Mythic, Seagate Stormcaller. Decent Mythic. Um, finally. And a Construct token. All right. Come on. We're starting to get a little bit of signs of life out of this box. Hopefully we get a little more, like, really quick because people are probably bored running away from the computer right now. Uh, what do we got? Archon of Amiria. Shadow's Verdict, and a Soul Shatter Foil Rare, and a Plant Target, all right? So, three rares, but still not really much to get excited about. What is going on with this box? Come on, step it up. And... A Zagreus, Thief of Heartbeats, another one that I get almost every time. And a Advertising Token. All right, come on, what's going on here? I think we might have to open the expedition just to kind of try and get some kind of spiciness. Oh, there's a, a signature card. Donato. That's one of the pathways. Bright Clan pathway. So hopefully that's a good sign that we're going to get a pathway. Because we haven't got a single one yet. What's going on? Is this a Kaldheim box? What's going on? Carry on. And a common foil on a minigame. What is happening here? All right. We're going to open the expedition. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Alright, come on. Ancient Tomb was the one I was thinking of earlier, and then we also got the, uh, oh, the other fetch land, the Universal fetch land. <gasps> prismatic Vista, that's the one. <laughs> nice. So we got a Prismatic Vista. Good little card there. I'm not going to complain. That was a good box topper. Um, if you're not going to get an enemy fetch, then the Prismatic Vista or the Ancient Tomb are, I believe, the next big ones to get uh, foil land. Is that a foil in with scratches down the front of it? I think it is. Yep. Yeah, there's scratches down the front. Eh, it's hard to see. Still working on the lighting in here. Still trying to figure this out. Um, one day I'll get it. <laughs> and or Reef Ooze. Uncommon foil. And a Cat Beast token. All right. Where is the spiciness? What is happening I don't even know where I am anymore. What's going on here? Coveted prize. Common. Copy. What? <laughs> when you regret opening a box. <laughs> Relic robber. Decent little card. Oh, a Nissa Ravane from... Is that original Zendikar? Nice. So that's pretty cool. I don't think, I don't know if I have an original Nissa Ravane at all. 
So we got a mythic from the list. That's pretty neat. Um, I did get a big collection that had a lot of like Zendikar era stuff in it, and a lot of Scars of Mirrodin era and and whatnot. Um, from a commander player, Confounding Conundrum, Luminarch Aspirant, and a minigame. Kaumpo. Uh, so check out that video. That one was a couple weeks ago. Uh, at least I posted that. Uh, kind, of a, kind of a pretty epic collection, and I got a stupid good deal on it. Uh, the guy's wife was going to throw them away. So <laughs> he was stoked that I gave him a couple hundred bucks, and it turned out to be a couple thousand dollar deal. So because I do Mammoth with the land on the back, because I do Valley. I'll foil with the uh, showcase border. I do like the showcase border in this set as well. Plant token. Last pack of stack number two. We only have one mythic. Well, if you count, unless you count the uh, list card mythic. We technically have two, but one of them is a list card, so I don't really count that. Um, yeah, so I don't know what's going on here. Cargan Intimidator, Uncommon, and a Fractured Power Stone, I think from Plane Chase Anthology or something like that. I can never remember what that uh, logo is there. All right. We're getting down there. We don't have a single pathway yet. <laughs> and only one mythic. This last stack better be stacked up with value. Because we got nothing yet. This might be the worst Zendikar box opening ever. Skyclave Apparition. Great card. And Insect Token. All right. What's happening? The first pack was good in that stack. It's, uh, but not good enough to really, you know... Turn this box into a good box yet. We need some heavy hitters here. Mad Inca Cacophony is not going to do it. Neither is a full common or a minigame. What's going on? Where's the cards? <laughs> Lotus Cobra Art. Yeah, that's not worth anything. Um, Linbala. Okay. And a common foil. Oh, Muscle Sliver. That's pretty cool. <laughs> From Tempest. Way back then. Tempest came out during the first time I took a hiatus from the game. I quit around uh, around alliances and didn't come back in until invasion. So I actually missed the first Urza's block, which really sucked. But I did end up getting a lot of that when I got back in the game because the price was still pretty low back then. Skyclave Shade with the normal border. I almost never see this card. And another Linvala. It's like we just got one of those. Spitfire Legek and a Drake Dog. Legek. Um... Is this a repack box? <laughs> Did Amazon repack this box before they sent it out? Is this a return? What's going on here? Oh, finally a pathway. Needle Verge with the Pillar Verge on the back. So we got our first pathway down almost the end of the box. Core Warrior. Literally six packs left to get our first pathway. Uh, I think this is going to be a pretty weak box. We still only have one Mythic. What is going on? <laughs> Unless every single pack left has a mythic and an extra pathway in it, then this is going to be a terrible box. Well, I don't even get it. All the Skyclaves. Swiftfoot Boots. There we go. Decent little uh, couple dollar card. The Master's 25. Uncommon. All right. What is happening? Um, I don't know. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry you had to watch this. Hagrid Molly. Good card. Not great. And a uh, Valdalian Illusionist from Weatherlight. Three packs left, and we only have one Mythic and one Pathway. This is hands down the worst box of Zendikar Rising I have ever opened in my life. And here I was talking about how great this set was, and this is what we get. Called our retreat. A Nissa of Shadow Bows for the Borderless second Mythic. That's not worth anything. And an Illusion Token. Two packs left, two mythics, one pathway. I am. Oh, we got a second signed art card. That's weird. Um, not really gonna help. Oh, there's our second pathway, the branch loft borderless, 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 <laughs> and the polar loft on the back, and a mythic. We need the last pack to be like that too, but with a better mythic. Um, and advertising. Uh, last pack. Two pathways, three mythics. We did step it up right here at the end, but come on. The Prismatic Vista is the only thing kind of keeping this box from being a complete and total dumpster fire. And even that's really not that great. Shatter Skull Smashing, there we go. Good mythic at the end. But still, that's uh, kind of surprising. 
Goblin Construct. We only got two pathways and four mythics in the entire box. Uh, technically five, because we got the Nissa Ravine from Zendikar in the list spot. But yeah, I'm kind of surprised at how weak that box was. I don't think I've ever seen a box that weak from Zendikar Rising. Um, let me know in the comments below. Have you, have you seen a, a box this, uh, this week before? I don't think with all the openings I watched of this and all the openings I've done, we only got one full rare, too. That's that's terrible. <laughs> it is a soul, soul shatter. Not even a good one. Um, oh, how did I get a full common on top of my rares? Anyways, there we have it. That was it. Um, our four mythics were the Shatter Skull Smashing, which is okay. Drana, and Nissa, and the Seagate Stormcaller is okay. But two pathways, one borderless, one regular. Uh, we did get the Prismatic Vista for our box topper, so that was good. That may have kept the box from being a complete waste of money. <laughs> but uh, I don't think it's worth a whole lot right now. It's not enough to cover the whole box, but we did get two of the signed art cards, but I, these aren't anything anymore. I don't think anybody cares at all anymore. I think they're selling for like a buck or two a piece now. So... Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what you think about what's going on with magic in general right now and all the uh all the uh yeah, the the new sets and all the price increases and craziness. Uh we'll see what happens. I don't know. Things could have changed quite drastically between when I recorded this video and when you guys see it, because uh like I said, I recorded it right before Dungeons and Dragons come out, so I'm probably going to get a, as much of the Dungeons & Dragons as I can and open it for you guys. So hopefully it'll be nothing but a steady stream of Dungeons & Dragons openings for a couple weeks <laughs> before you guys actually see this video. So let me know what you guys think of that set and what you think of everything else going on. Uh, check out the description below. There's a lot of good links to save you money on your purchases. A lot of good sale prices on stuff and uh, a lot of good uh, cash back offers. Uh, so my email address down there if you want to talk to me about buying singles or sponsoring in a video opening. And my actual address down there if you want to send me something to open on camera for you. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate everything. I really appreciate your time. I love doing this. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.